Hey, good morning, guys. Today I am going to be talking about how to craft the perfect email campaign, perfect email message. This is something that uh, people have a hard time with. You end up in the spam or pr promotion folder, and you're just not getting the results you want from email marketing. So today I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to give you some instructions. If I can get my sound and volume right. So the number one thing, and I taught this lesson yesterday, was uh, images, links, um, and sending maybe at the wrong time of day or on the weekends, that will send your emails right to spam or promotion folders. Somebody doesn't open them, and uh, maybe after three or four times, they don't open your emails or they just don't see them, that's when you'll start going to other folders. So I wanna encourage you guys to really try to focus on making it as personal as possible. And I'm going to show you some tips and some things that people are doing wrong here. And let's see here. Right here is an email I got with more than one image. It's got multiple links in it, and it ended up right in my promotion folder. So promotions uh, right here. And I've never, I've opened emails from them in the past, but as you can see, they have images, colors, they have more than three links. Um, so they're going to go right to the promotion folder. And who's actually going to read this anyways, right? Who's going to look through this whole email, read all of all of these links, click on all of these links? Like, what's the point? So that's really something you want to watch out for are the images and the links, um, and especially an email crafted like this. It's not personalized. So even if it did go into the inbox, it's not personalized enough. Here's another one. So here's another example. We have uh, same thing, an image at the very top. We have a link, a link, a link, a ton of links in there. Um, so that's just ending up in my promotion folder. Make sure if you guys have questions about your emails to leave it uh, in the comments here. Here's another one. This is that same one right in the promotions. And uh, that's what you really wanna try to avoid. The goal here is to make it as personalized as you can. Write it in your Gmail account, your email account before sending out your email marketing campaign. So. Make it look normal, right? Nobody wants to see a huge, long article, a newsletter. They want personalized emails. I'm gonna show you guys an example of that here. This is our a mentor, Neil Patel. He lands in our inbox. I think he sends an email every three days, looks like. And he goes right to our inbox. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what his email looks like. So I'm gonna, this looks like he wrote it right from his Gmail account. He obviously didn't because there's an unsubscribe button. Um, and there's one link. So as you can see, there's no images. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. And we're just talking about uh, the, writing the perfect email. And this guy, no images, one link, and one little unsubscribe button. So these are the, the big mistakes, link after link after link, after picture after picture, same thing, link pictures. And I'm sure they spent hours trying to perfect this email. You guys are probably, already doing this, you probably spend so much time worrying about what your email looks like instead of focusing on just making it personal, right? So let's write an email together today. I want to, thanks, miss your seminar. Yeah, definitely help you out, BNRB. Definitely help you guys out with that. And I'm talking about, you know, personal, nobody wants to read, you guys don't want to read an email from me, right? That has pictures, talks all about me, you have to scroll, scroll to see all the information. It's just too much, it's overwhelming. You need something that looks like I wrote it from my email, send it to you, or even if I wrote it from my phone email, right? That's personalized and that's what you need to do for your customers. That's when you really see the 60 to 80% open rates in your email. And that's the goal for email anyways, right? Get people to open it and then to buy from you. So let's, let's craft an email right in here. So I have my email set up. Uh, let's say update, and let's just say we want somebody to respond back. So update first name we're going to put in with a question mark, right? And we don't want to send it from our company name. We're going to send it from our name, from our email. So look, Brad Smith matches up with my email address. I'm not trying to trick them or send out some crazy email to them. Make it personalized, and I'll keep preaching that for the rest of the video. Um, drag and drop editors, you guys will probably see in different softwares you have. That's where you can add the images and the videos. Stay away from this, 
right? And I'll show you an example of why you would want to stay away from this in a second. But we're just going to do a normal text editor. That's what you would do if you were doing it right from your uh, email account. So first things first, once I get the camera right, we're going to remove all this stuff out of here. Get rid of all the extra code. We want to get rid of this line here. No line, but we still want the unsubscribe in here, right? Make it a little bigger so people can see. I'm going to say, hey, first name, right? Wanted to check in the So as you can see, I'm just calling up their first name. They're going to see this when they open up their email that I'm talking personal to them. Um, and I'm, then I'm asking them a question. And then this comes to my last point. My last helpful tip is when you ask a question and get them to respond, you are going to end up in a thread, email thread. So right here in this last blog I posted, have you looked in your inbox lately? Uh, you'll see that if you have a conversation with someone, and start an email thread, it'll always show up in your inbox. So those email threads will just keep going back and forth with you and the, the other person, and that will continue to stay right in your inbox. So let's finish this email. Let me know. Sign it off. That's it. Look how simple that is. And that's going right along with uh, our mentors emails that he sends us, super personalized. And remember, if you want to send a link in there, you can. But let's look at this. I'm going to show you guys an example. If I just copy what this other company did, and hopefully this is helping you guys. Let me know if it helps. Because that's the whole goal we've been talking about all week is get in the inbox, right? Apparently, I can't copy. So let's try that. All right, so I just took over this email. I'm putting it in ours here. Um, so what Google and Gmail and Outlook, what they're looking for is they're not necessarily looking for your email to look like this. They're not looking at the front end. What they're looking at is the, the HTML code in the back end. So when they see a code like this, obviously it's confusing for us, but they know it's spam. They can see that this code is not a clean code. And even if you don't understand coding, you can understand that this doesn't make sense. This doesn't look good. And if a Gmail or Outlook sees an email coming in like this, they're going to push you right to a different folder, if not the spam folder. So we don't want code like this. We need clean code. So let me uh, undo what I just did here. Now let's look at how clean the code is uh, from just this email here. Um, so that makes sense to you. This is the exact same thing that I have in here, uh, no tricks. We're not trying to trick the email accounts. Uh, this is clean. This is what's gonna end up in the inbox code like this. This is what they look at. So hope this really helped you guys out today. And let me know uh, if it helped you out in the comments. I wanna answer your questions. Make sure you send me a message if you need help with your emails, even if it's just me looking over, seeing what you're doing wrong and uh, giving you a couple pointers. We just started working with somebody uh, the other day, we cleaned up the entire email funnel and the inbox, the open rates, the click through rates are going to just skyrocket. And I don't even have to, you know, guess. I know for sure that by getting rid of, rid of those images, getting rid of the links, making it personal like this, that is going to take her email rate, open rates from like 10% all the way up to 60 to 80%. You spend time making emails, right? You might as well make them count. So hopefully this helped you guys out today. Appreciate you uh, watching and leave a comment below if it helped. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business.